It's all about the money again. In this episode, we are comparing fuel costs for diesel versus electric. I've had a diesel car for three years and 17,000 miles. It's the Active Tourer 218D, a spacious but not too large car and an efficient one at that. The electric car is the Ioniq 28 kilowatt hours. It's a very efficient car as well, but in the electric category. All right, so let's start the comparison. The diesel car consumes 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers. That's 49.5 miles per gallon in the UK. The electric car consumes 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour or 168 watt hours per kilometer. And that is wall to wall. That means the actual energy consumed, not what you would see on the dashboard. In fact, that is true of both cars. We are looking at all the fuel, all the energy we are putting in the car, as opposed to what the car is reporting. Now for the fuel costs, the diesel is currently at 1.5 pounds per liter in the UK. It's one of the highest prices in a very long time, but it is the price. As for electricity, the blended mix is currently at 7.4 pence per kilowatt hours. That's a good price and it might raise over time, but if you're making use of a mix of public charging, private charging, including overnight, that's the number you would be paying today. So immediately we've got a big difference between diesel and electric. 826 pounds per year for the diesel car is what you would spend for driving 6,000 miles, whereas the electric car would be only 119 pounds per year. So nearly seven times lower. That's quite a gap. However, although this is based on current consumption and based on actuals, I think it would be fair to add a further allowance for motorway driving, Ionity charging, which is the most expensive kind of charging at this point in time. So if a force of your distance was done using the Ionity chargers at 69 pence per kilowatt hours, the cost of the electric would rise to 369 pounds. That would still be 2.2 times lower than the diesel car. We'll talk about emissions and total energy used in a second, but in the meantime, let me know in the comments if you'd like to have a simple spreadsheet to calculate for yourself how much you'd be consuming with electricity given a blend of public and private charging. Now, let's talk about the emissions. The diesel car would emit about 1.3 tons of CO2 per year at a rate of 2.4 kilograms per liter. In terms of total energy it uses, 5.5 megawatt hours per year at a rate of 0.57 kilowatt hours per kilometer. To put this in perspective, 5.5 thousand kilowatt hours is the energy that you can use to heat and run a three bed flat in London between September and June. And that includes all the winter months. So it's a lot of energy. If you shift to the electric car now, no CO2 emissions. On the assumption that you're subscribed to an energy provider such as Octopus that backs up its electricity with full renewable energy. The quantity of energy consumed in a given year will be 1.6 thousand kilowatt hours at the rate of 0.17 kilowatt hours per kilometer. That is 70% lower than the diesel car. A very good outcome. And if you manage to recharge mostly at night, you could do it knowing that it's mostly energy that would have been somewhat wasted anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time.